Hello, everyone, and welcome to Sprinkles Kisses for Kids. Today, I will read a book to you named Melting Mystery by Sid the Science Kid. Oh no! Cries Sid. My ice pop melted into a puddle. Why can't ice pop stay frozen? After breakfast, Sid's dad helps him make ice pops with juice, cups, and ice pop sticks. Mom puts them in the freezer. A minute later, Sid opens the freezer. Hey. They're not ready yet," he complains. Dad laughs. <laughs> They need time to freeze, Sid. At school, roving reporter Sid asks, "Has a frozen treat ever melted before you could eat it?" A red and blue ice pop," says Gabriella. My ice pop turned into soup," adds Gerald. During rug time, Sid asks Teacher Susie, "Why do frozen things melt? Can you freeze liquid back into ice?" Well," says Teacher Susie, "frozen liquids have to stay super cold to stay frozen." Or they melt. Melted liquid can be frozen when something can change back and forth. It's called reversible change. Let's investigate in the Super Fab Lab. Teacher Susie shows the class a block of ice with fruit inside. Fruit is our snack today. She says, "We have to wait for the ice to melt." Exit. That takes a long time. We need to pour something warm on it. Good idea, Teacher Susie replies. Is there some sort of liquid we could use? Gabriella spots the sink. Warm water. She says, "With lots of warm water, the ice begins to melt." Hmm, Gerald says. "Yummy cold grapes." After school, Gabriella and Sid find the ice pops in the freezer, frozen and ready to eat. Another cool snack. Cheers, Sid. See you later, scientists. The end. Thank you so much for joining me today, and please continue to thumbs up and share all of my videos so I can read to you another day. Until next time. See you soon.